If you want to see me swatch the five pan Lila palette by Natasha Denona, then stick around. Hi there, and yes, we are going to swatch the Natasha Denona Lila palette. You can probably not see the box. There we go. It is a mini palette, essentially a mini version of the Lila palette from this same brand. And it looks like this on the outside. And I'm not a big fan of clear plastic covers. So I'm much happier showing you this. And there's a reason I keep the box because I just need to store it in the box. I do not like plastic covers. I don't mind it when I'm traveling, but in my collection back here, I would much rather see that, this box, than the glare of a the front cover of a palette. I think it's ugly. And for your benefit, I don't think you'd appreciate the glare uh, behind me either. I was very excited to be able to get this palette for $13 Canadian. That was fantastic. I think it was $13 and change. Really a great price. And what really attracted me to the palette are these three shadows. These, I, I have similar shadows in my collection, but to have purples like this that I can take with me um, on the go was pretty exciting, especially if I need to do my makeup at work um, outside of the home, then this is really, really nice. And I tend to be one of those folks who shows up to a work engagement very early, but that way I don't fuss and I can just kind of think about what it is that I'm trying to do if I'm facilitating or something like that. And the time it takes to put your makeup on and you don't have to worry about being late is it's great to do on site. So I really like these little palette um, options for those types of situations. That's a bit more about me than you may have wanted to know. But um, let me just swatch this then. I think I'm going to do three here and then the last two so I can use my um, primary three fingers and I'm going to go right into it. I do uh, like the Natasha Denona formula, but the um, big draw for me on the Lila palette is that um, it is a mini. I, I only have full-size pans of hers from two holiday collections, the Cranberry palette and the Aries palette. And I really wanted to get kind of a standard formula option. And so this one seemed to be a good opportunity for me to try shadows that would be in a, a regular palette. Now, this is a little patchy, but not that unusual for a matte, so I'm not going to be all that fussed over it. Now, this one is a shimmer, so it really glides on quite nicely. Looks like it could act as a topper too. That's kind of nice. And the third color. If you're wondering anything about my nail polish, it is in the description box below if you want to know. It's uh, Tutu from Seattle London and uh, F uh, Silver Fever from Sephora. Look at that middle finger, right? Nice. Oh, some fallout from that uh, first shade. Now, I didn't even give you the shade names. Poisonberry. Dahlia and Raisin. And I really think that's a good name for it, Raisin. Okay, into the pan for a second go. There is a white base in the Poisonberry. You can see it on the finger here. That I think makes uh, will make it uh, really interesting for the second go. Let's see if I'm right. I'm really liking uh, Raisin, this last one. Okay. So poison berry. Oh yeah, nicer on the second one, but a little patchy still though. It's patchy. Dahlia. Bet you this is better on with a brush though. And then raisin. Nice. Yeah, so far this is definitely by far my favorite color. But I think the fuchsia, I'm, I'm just uh, trying to even it out here. I think the fuchsia is uh, going to be better with the brush. I really, really do think it will be. 
Okay, so here's one last look at the fingers. I will wipe those off and do the last two swatches. Okay, final two swatches are these two, and this one is Linen, which I got a comment already that I would like this one, and Flint. So Linen and Flint. All right. Oh yeah, that's a very nice color, Linen. I like both of these. These, these are no-brainers. Linen and flint. Oh yeah. Oh, that is a smooth mat right there. Do you see? Beautiful. These almost don't need a second swatch. They're really, really nice. Okay. A second go, because that's just how we roll. And for flint, it feels like I can just pick up the kick up. They're very, very fine. I don't mind that at all. So here we go again. Linen. It's a good name for it. Oh, so smooth. And flint. Oh yeah, these, these are definitely really nice. Really, really nice. I could even see uh, a look with these three looking so, so good. Crease, outer lid, as in outer V, and inner. Those three would be so, so, so nice. Interesting. I am uh, looking forward to trying these different shadows. Here's the, here are the fingers again for the last two. The mats are definitely, they're feeling good. I'm just concerned about the patchiness on Poisonberry, but I will have to reserve judgment until I try it on my eye. Um, I'm okay with these swatches, at least to give, uh, give me a sense of the palette, and I do look forward to using those two fuchsia and purple colors. The one that is more um, toward the blue, and just shift, shifts. It depends how you look at it. It's definitely a dual chrome from uh, a true purple to almost a to almost a royal blue. So I'm, I'm curious to know what that one is going to look like on the eye. I would suspect that mattes and then dabbing that, um, what's it called again, uh, blue dahlia uh, on the center lid would really make it pop as kind of a halo. I will, I will stop talking, but yes, it has my uh, creative juices flowing. See, I don't, I don't like, don't like clear covers. Uh, it does have my creative juices flowing, and I am looking forward to seeing what it is that I can create with this little palette. Oh, and by the way, Lila is lilac in French. I thought I would mention that, uh, and which is why I'm saying it that way, Lila is, uh, yeah, so it, uh, it makes me think, actually, <laughs> of a friend of mine who had passed away. She was an elderly lady, and she had huge lilac bushes in her front yard, and uh, so when I saw this palette and that it was reasonable for me to purchase, I thought, oh, this, this makes me think of Penny. So that was kind of a nice thing. Anyway, that is it from me. I will stop rambling. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it every single time, and I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, as always, take care.